We're going to start by doing a magic circle. So you take your yarn, you wrap it around your finger, overlap, and then you pull through with your hook and you're going to chain one. Now you're going to do six single crochets in the circle and make sure you're doing it over both yarns. That's how it's going to allow you to um, tighten it up later. So you're going to do a total of six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to pull it together to tighten it, tighten up our circle. And we're not going to slip stitch. So where we ended, we're going to automatically start. So now we have six single stitches and every single stitch we're going to do two single crochets in each of them. So you will end at the end with 12 single crochets. Like I said, you are not going to um, slip stitch it. Just start crocheting right away into it. One and two. At this point, you're going to use your stitch marker so you know where your row began. And when you get to this end, again, after you're done, you should have 12. So now we've reached the end. We have 12 single crochets. We're going to remove the stitch marker and go to the beginning of the next row. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next one, but two in the following. And this is going to be a pattern that we will repeat. So we just did two. Now we will do one, go to the next one, and do two. And we will do that till we get to the stitch marker that will complete our next row. So now we are done with that row. So we're going to remove our stitch marker and start the next row. Now the next pattern is going to be we will do two, the next two single crochets. One and two, these are on two different single crochets, but on the third one, we will do two single crochets in that same stitch and repeat the pattern. So we're gonna go one, two, and in the third one, we will do two in that one till we get to the very end again where we meet up with our stitch marker. Now we're done with that row. We're gonna do the same thing. Remove our stitch marker to mark our next row. So for this row, we're going to do three single crochets in the next three, and on the fourth one, we're gonna do a double, and we're gonna repeat that till we get to the stitch marker, and again, move it to the next row, and then the next pattern will be, we will do four, and then two, and then five, then two, six, then two, till you get to um, 22 stitches in between each stitches, each single crochet stitches. Now that we have completed our 22nd row, we've arrived to where the stitch marker is. So we're gonna lift that. And from this point forward, you're going to do only single crochets in every stitch for a total of three rows. So you're gonna go all the way around once, twice, and then three times. And after the third row, we're gonna start decreasing. Now that we have completed our three rows of single crochet, we're gonna grab our stitch marker and put it at the very top from this point, or from the very top stitch here. And from this point forward, we're gonna to start to decrease. So we're going to do 20 single crochets, and on the 20th one, I'm gonna show you how to decrease. So this is 18, 19, and on the 20th, we're gonna go slip through, pull up a loop, slip through the next one, pull up a loop, and then pull it through all three of them. Now you're reducing. And you will repeat that till you get to the um, stitch marker. And at the next row, you're going to go 19, and then you're going to reduce, then 18, 17, 16, 15. My last one, I believe I stopped at 10 because that was the right size circumference to fit the head. Then I'll show you how to end it up with a little border uh, brim on the end of it. So now that we have reduced to 10 stitches of reduction in between each single crochet, what we're going to do is just do single crochet in every single stitch and then we're going to do a front post and back post double crochet to create the brim. And I'll show you how to do that. We did a whole row of single crochets all around. So now what we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and we're gonna chain two. Now we're gonna do a front post and back post 
cro double crochet. So we chain two, that doesn't count as a stitch. So we're going to go underneath and pick that up, pull up a loop, go through two, pull up a loop, go through two more. Now we're gonna go to the back side, pick that up, pull up a loop through two, and then go through two. Then come back again, come to the front, go through two, and then two, and then you're gonna go through the back again. You're gonna repeat it till you get to the very end, and that will create that nice little brim for you. You can do it single or double or as thick as you want it. Now your beret can be done right here if you would like, or you can add a second row of the front post and back post double crochets to create a thicker rim. And uh, you, then you can make the little white um, circles. It's probably start in the same way you did this center piece, but make them to the sizes that you like and then you can sew them in place where you want them to be and it'll look something like this when you're all done.